Hi, I'm Rich Blumseth, Product Management Director for Echelon. Today, I'll be demonstrating the iZOP platform and I'll show how manufacturers can easily use the iZOP platform tools to create devices that communicate with each other and form communities of devices. Let's look at the iZOP platform in action and see how manufacturers can use it to create their devices for the industrial internet of things. I have devices here from three manufacturers. In the center, I've got the devices included with Echelon's iZOT software development kit. These devices create a simple lighting system where I can push buttons on a keypad and control the color and state of lights. Now these lights are also connected through Echelon's new iZOT router. This router connects the lights that are talking over Ethernet and Wi-Fi to a simple free topology twisted pair network. This free topology twisted pair is running over here to this panel from iNet Supervisor. iNet Supervisor is a manufacturer of building controls. We see one of their brand new building controllers based on the iZOP platform using Echelon's new 6050 smart transceiver. We also see their new router that routes from the same twisted pair to BACnet MSTP, which is a common networking standard used within buildings. Smart Controls also builds building controls and they've created new controls also based on Echelon's FT6050 Smart Transceiver. So this is their controller for buildings and we have two of their sensors. These are temperature sensors that can be used to control the temperature within a room and also display the temperature to the occupants of the room. An important feature of the iZOP platform is that devices can install themselves. They can discover other devices and create communities of devices. But for larger, more complex networks, you need a tool to establish that network and create the community. That tool is the iZOC commissioning tool. With the iZOC commissioning tool, I simply draw a network. I see in green the devices on this network. I see in blue the blocks that are the functionality within those devices. And I see connections between them, which is how we create connections between devices so that they can share data. Once you've created your community devices using the iZOC commissioning tool, you may want to monitor those devices from a central location. This is one such package for doing that by Iconic Software. So we've created a page that monitors the first panel, which is the iNet Supervisor panel, and I can see all the devices on the panel and actually see their state. And from here, I can click on a switch and actually control the switch from this point. Today, we've seen how manufacturers can use Echelon's new FT6050 smart transceiver to create their devices for the industrial Internet of Things. We've seen how you can use Echelon's iZOC commissioning tool to commission those devices into networks. And we've seen how we can use readily available third-party software for monitoring and controlling those devices. Thank you for joining me in the iZOC lab.